welcome to Health Promotions Wellness Wednesday Tip. I'm Alicia Perry, Manager of Health Promotion at 19 Wing Comox. Today I'm going to share with you 10 tips to help improve your sleep. I don't know about you, but when life gets stressful, sleep is often the one thing that seems to suffer the most. Watching the news late at night, scrolling through social media in bed, or just adjusting to this whole new work-life balance, these are all things that can be impacting our sleep right now. We've also lost some of those time anchors in our life, whether it's getting up early to get to work or drop the kids off at school or attend that specific fitness class every Tuesday and Thursday. We don't have necessarily these time anchors anymore. We know that sleep can impact our brain function, it can impact our mood, our alertness, and essentially our overall mental health. Sleep can almost be thought of as fuel for our brain to perform optimally. The average adult needs about seven to eight or nine hours of sleep, but this can really vary depending on the individual. Health Promotion has a variety of different webinars, some including in-depth discussions on sleep, talking about the sleep cycle, why we sleep, the different stages of sleep. I encourage you to go check those out. They are live webinars and there's also some pre-recorded webinars if you're not able to make it at that specific time. For now, I'm gonna share 10 tips you can start today. Tip number one is about consistency. If you can set that consistent wake and bedtime, I know it might be hard even on the weekends, but having more of a schedule can help your sleep cycle. Even setting a schedule for things throughout the day like lunchtime and breaks and walks that you participate in, the more you can kind of schedule your day, the more consistency you'll have. Tip number two is about creating a strong association between your mind, your bed, and sleep. So if you can work in another area of your house and you don't have to bring all your paperwork and your laptop into your room, really try and reserve your bedroom for sleep and intimacy only, and really try creating that comfortable environment in your bedroom. So you have that nice comfortable mattress and pillow. There's really nothing better than, than that feeling of crawling into freshly washed sheets and a nice comfortable bed a nice comfortable temperature to help you fall asleep. Tip number three is to stay active throughout the day, which can really help with your sleep. Try and avoid that super strenuous activity right before bed as it might make you a little bit more alert, but try and have some of that physical activity built into your day. Tip number four is about napping. If you find that you're taking naps throughout the days, then try and limit those naps to about 20 minutes. This really has to do with our sleep cycle. And for more information on the sleep cycle and different stages of sleep, tune into those health promotion webinars. Tip number five is about being mindful of what you're consuming right before bed. So nicotine and caffeine are stimulants and may keep you awake. Alcohol, while yes, it may help you fall asleep, it can actually disrupt the quality of your sleep. For tip number six, this is probably something we're hearing a lot more of these days, and that's about limiting screen time before bed. So whether it's the phone, computer, or TV, not only does scrolling through social media or watching the news late at night not necessarily help us fall asleep and unwind, but the blue light emitted from the screen can actually suppress the production of melatonin, which is a hormone our body produces that helps us sleep. For tip number seven, if you spend more than 20 minutes tossing and turning trying to fall asleep, get out of bed and do something very relaxing in low light and then try crawling back into bed. Tip number eight, if you're carrying around that to-do list with you and it's on your mind and you're waking up and trying to remember those things, have a piece of paper beside your bed, write those things down and get them off your mind so you can focus on sleep. Tip number nine is a big one. It's about really taking that time to wind down before bed. Maybe it's putting on those comfortable pajamas, it's doing some light stretching, some reading, meditating, really taking that time to get into that bedtime routine. Maybe even try practicing some mindfulness before bed. So 
while you're brushing your teeth. Notice the way the toothpaste tastes or how your feet feel on the floor or how the face cloth washing your face feels and really be present in that moment. And the last tip, tip number 10, is really taking time to practice self-care throughout your day. So you don't have to just reserve it before bed. Really be kind to yourself. These are stressful times and maybe self-care to you looks like reaching out to a family, friend, or colleague, or connecting with some of those resources that are available and talking to someone about some of the things that you're going through. So really making sure that you build that self-care time into your day. If you're looking for some more sleep tips, I encourage you to check out sleeponitcanada.ca or sleepfoundation.org or check out some of those health promotion webinars I was talking about. Thanks for tuning in to Health Promotions Wellness Wednesday Tip. I'll see you next week.